Welcome everybody to Forever Sharp Dual Blades. I am the Seventh Sword, and now it's time. I am putting a spoiler warning here. This is actually going to be going over endgame content and content currently in title update 2.0. So please, if you do not want to be spoiled on equipment, gear, monsters, anything that I may discuss in the title update or in the endgame of the original release, please do not continue. First and foremost, I wanted to showcase what sharpness is currently at on the dual blades I use in this build. This build is actually an upgrade to the Crazy Affinity build. So I'm going to demonstrate the sharpness as it is now, and then I'm going to showcase what you can do with it later, and hence why I call it Forever Sharp. And right there, we lost the sharpness. Now this is what you're going to be able to do with Forever Sharp. I think everybody gets the idea. Alright, let's get into the equipment itself. For the dual blades, I have the Night Wings, which come with an attack 190, a 40% base affinity, which is very crucial for this build, and I've increased that to 46% using the Rampage skill, Affinity Boost 2. For the slots, it has one level 2 decoration slot. For the helmet, I have the Kaiser Crown, which has one level 1 decoration slot. Critical Eye at level 3, and Critical Boost at level 1. For the chest piece, I have the Nargakuga Mail, which comes with two level 1 decoration slots, and Evade Window at level 1, Critical Eye is at level 2. For the gauntlets, I have the Baryoth Vambraces S, comes with one level 2 decoration slot, and the abilities it has on it are Quick Sheath 1, Maximum Might 1, Critical Eye 1. For the coil, I have the Nargakuga Coil, it has a level 2 decoration slot, it has Evade Extender at level 2, and Critical Eye at level 1. For the Greaves, I have the Golden Hakama, which comes with two level 1 decoration slots. And Critical Boost is at level 2, and Latent Power is at level 1. For the Petalace, I have the Demon Petalace 3 equipped. You can certainly choose whatever Petalace you want, as the main focus on this build is the Forever Sharp. So bring the Petalace you are most comfortable with. I want to do a little bit more damage, so I collect more of those Spirit Birds along the way, and then you're doing a lot more damage. For your Talisman, as long as you have one that has two level 2 slots, you'll be able to do this build. I particularly really like this one, because it comes with Evade Window at level 2, and Quick Sheath is just a bonus on there, but I really like building in dodging and this actually just makes the build even better because you have more evasiveness and more maneuverability because you actually get to extend your evasion as well. As always, I have a Power Talon, Armor Talon, Power Charm, and Armor Charm on my character at all times. I've also decided to start bringing some great wet fish because in that rare case where you might have to sharpen with this weapon, maybe once an entire fight, maybe, you're going to need at least one of these and it'll reduce the sharpening to one cycle and you don't have to slot in that grinder skill. Let's get into the decorations. On the Nightwings I have a Tenderizer Jewel 2. On the Kaiser Crown I have a Defense Jewel 1. On the Chest Piece I have a Defense Jewel 1 and a Steadfast Jewel 1. On the Vambraces I have a Mastery Jewel 2. On the Nargakuga Coil I have a Mastery Jewel 2. On the Golden Hakama I have two Steadfast Jewels. And on my Talisman I have a Mastery Jewel 2 and an Evasion Jewel 2. 
With all of those skills working together, this is what you end up with. You end up with Critical Eye at level 7, which is boosting my affinity by 40%. You've got Evade Window at level 4, which greatly increases your invulnerability window. Critical Boost at level 3, which increases your damage output done by critical hits to 40%. Master's Touch, this is the key to this build here. It grants an 80% chance of no sharpness loss while active. It is activated when you do a critical hit. You are basically doing 100% critical hits with this build so long as you're hitting a weak point because I also have weakness exploit at level 1. So altogether the dual blades are at 86% affinity and then weakness exploit at level 1 grants me 15% extra on a weak spot. Therefore as long as you're hitting a weak spot you are doing 100% critical hits and your sharpness is not really being reduced at all. This is an extremely fun build and it actually increases your DPS potential exponentially as you will be able to maintain that white sharpness for so much longer than before and you won't have to worry about sharpening or going down into blue and doing less damage. So this build is very very good for outputting the highest DPS possible as you get that bonus from white sharpness which is currently the highest level of sharpness attainable at this moment in time as far as I know. And if there ever is an event on the field where you do have to sharpen, again, you use a great wet fish and you are good to go. You may have to do it, like I said before, once. So there you have it. There's the forever sharp build. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I am loving it because honestly, dual blades eat through sharpness like no one's business. So this is very, very great to have since you don't have to worry so much about that sharpness anymore. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all later.